Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to gain super admin access privilege to ZLTS 10G modem. To learn, keep on watching and don't skip until the end. Before we proceed, shout out to ACM Free Key, Tut Tit, and to Coloman. Do you know where he is? I hope nothing bad happened to him. Let's not worry guys, he will show up and the story goes like this. Sorry guys, that is not my topic for today. If you'd like comment below, and I will make a video about him. Yes! So, let's proceed to our show. Log in to the web interface. Type in 192.168.254.254. This is the default address of the modem to access the modem configuration interface. Use the default username and password. Then press enter. Now, we are going to do the trick here. But before doing it, don't forget to copy your current IMEI. That is your device original IMEI value. Let's do it. Click on quick settings. Click on next button. Now, go to the URL address and change the hash quick underscore setting to hash send underscore at. Press enter. This is the network tools interface for changing the International Mobile Equipment Identity or IMEI. Click on the text box then type in the command shown. Then press send. Wait for the confirmation. Once you see the OK message, it's successful. Now, and to see the current IMEI of this device. The new IMEI will take effect once we restart the device. Let's click the restart device button to reboot the device. Take a look at the IMEI value. It's now the value we set previously. Now we have the new IMEI with super admin account. Let's try to log in with this account. You will see that the account we use is the super admin account. The information shown is different from user and admin account. All the configuration settings are shown here with the super admin account. With this privilege you can explore and try all the settings you prefer with the ZLTS 10G device. You can change the MCC MNC values and unlock the device. You can select the LTE band that is available in your area and you can also do cell ID locking.
I highly recommend to save a backup copy of your device configuration. You can always refer to the backup if anything is unusual with your device. After setting all of your preferences don't forget to revert it back to your original IMEI. Just give it a try and you will see the hidden features of your device that are very useful to you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.